Real Madrid superstar Brazilian forward Rodrigo Goes is seen as a dream signing for Manchester City manager Pep Guardiola. More so, due to the recent exit of Argentine forward Julian Alvarez to Atletico Madrid. We'll be discussing you detailly on that in this episode as we progress. And shortly after that, we are going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day, as Real Madrid has decided again to move for ex-Manchester City and current Al Nasser star Emric Laporte due to financial complexities. As a report claims, Real Madrid will only sign him on a free transfer. We are going to be bringing you more updates on that as well in this episode. Stay tuned right up to, up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bells so you do not miss out on our daily Real Madrid update. When it became clear that Real Madrid were all set to sign Kylian Mbappe, a lot of speculations emerged about the future of Rodrigo Goes. With Vinicius Junior, an immovable presence from the lineup and Mbappe arriving as well, it will suggest that the Brazilian will lose prominence and might consider a departure from the Santiago Bernabeu. Manchester City, for one, were said to be interested in signing Rodrigo. Although everything went quite after a while and the forward reaffirmed his commitment to Real Madrid, ruling out the possibilities of an exit anytime soon. While that may have been the case, Spanish publication Marca is now reporting that Rodrigo continues to be a dream signing for Manchester City manager Pep Guardiola. The Premier League champions sold Julian Alvarez to Atletico de Madrid and could enter the market for a replacement for the Argentine international. As per the report, the citizens are handling several options as possible targets such as Crystal Palace star Ebere Eze as well as Napoli speed star Kivacha Kivaraskelia. However, the name of Rodrigo also features on the list, with the Real Madrid attacker said to be a favorite of Guardiola. Despite the continual interest of Guardiola and Manchester City, Rodrigo is unlikely to leave Real Madrid this summer. The Brazilian international remains an integral part of Carlo Ancelotti's plans and signed a new long-term contract with the Merengues only last year. Both the player and the club are committed towards each other and are not looking for a separation of ways anytime soon. So while Rodrigo will have to deal with added competition for places thanks to the arrival of Mbappe and Hendrik, along with other Goulet exploding in recent form, an exit is not a possibility. Carlo Ancelotti has also reaffirmed that Rodrigo will be a key part of his team next season, owing to the fact that Real Madrid will be competing in a total of seven tournaments and could play up to 75 matches if they reach finals in all competitions. More updates on that will follow. Stay tuned so you do not miss out. So having discussed and concluded with that, we are now going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day, as Real Madrid have decided against a move for ex-Manchester City A's due to financial complexities. Real Madrid faced a significant setback in their effort to strengthen their defensive line as their top target, Lenny Euro, ended up taking his talent to Manchester United. Since then, incessant speculations has surrounded several centre-backs given the Merengues have lost Nacho Fernandez and Rafa Marin, with David Alaba expected to return later this year. Report trying Real Madrid to 
Laporte began to do the rounds lately, with Al Nasser's centre-back eager to make the leap to the Spanish capital club and was even willing to take a huge pay cut. Laporte proved his high level in the recently concluded UEFA Euro 2024 by filtering for Spain and seems unhappy in the Middle East, urging him to join Los Blancos. However, according to a recent report from Spanish publication The Athletics, as quoted by Madrid Extra, Carlo Ancelotti and his staff liked the signing of Emeric Laporte, but the deal was deemed highly complex and due to financial constraints, making it an impractical option. Ancelotti understands the club's financial position and is prepared to maximize the potential of the current squad. Demonstrating his abilities, as was especially observed last season, he remains committed to availing of current resources despite the limitations. Recently, Carlo Ancelotti publicly announced that there will be no further reinforcement arriving at the club this summer as the squad was now complete and closed. The squad is closed, Vallejo is back, Alaba is recovering, we have the youngsters Juan Martinez and Jacobo Ramos, also Raul Asensio from the academy setups. The squad is closed, Ancelotti professed. As such, the Italian manager has come to terms with the unlikely wood of additional signings and accepts that he must work and trust the players currently at his disposal, despite the defense appearing notably thin. While signing Laporte would have been a great boost given his exceptional time at Manchester City, Real Madrid are unwilling to compromise their financial status at this point in time and value the club's long-term vision. Also, it is important to highlight that last season, owing to an injury to both Militao and David Alaba in the center defensive area, Carlo Ancelotti had to make due with the available defensive midfielder in the squad, Aurelien Chouameni, who was a perfect fit in that position. Chouameni played a position as if he wanted to make that his, although the midfielder has always professed his love for his natural positioning on the pitch, which is the, center, the defensive midfield role. Now, next season, should Ancelotti run short of staffs in the center defensive region, he knows there is always a Chouameni to cover up with Real Madrid not lacking options in the midfield, it will be easy to swap Aurelien Chouameni into a centre-back department and replace his midfield position with the stack of available stars in the squad. More updates on that will follow. Stay tuned so you do not miss out. So having discussed and concluded with that, we have come to the end of today's interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bells so you do not miss out on our daily Real Madrid update. See you next time and a very big Hala Madrid to us all.